Hey everyone, we're going to take a look at how I defeated the heroic version of the Saphiron encounter in the Curse of Naxxramas. I'm using a specifically created mage deck for this fight, but in our written guide we also recommend decks for a few other classes. Saphiron's deck contains a variety of very strong and very cost-efficient minions that will very quickly overwhelm you. Saphiron's hero power, which is free of cost and on autocast, will essentially clear your board on every single round. Because of this, you really need to play a deck that has the ability both to kill Saphiron without almost any minions, and to survive the damage that Saphiron's minions do to you. For this reason, a Frost Mage is an ideal deck. As you can see here, I'm making use of uh, Cone of Cold, Frost Nova, Blizzard, and later on Flame Strike to keep Saperon's board under control. At the same time, the only minions in my deck are minions that do actually have a chance to attack. This means charge minions like my Arcane Golems and the uh, resulting minions from the Nerubian Eggs, because while the Nerubian Egg gets instantly killed by Saphiron's hero power, the resulting uh, ad has one turn to attack before it is killed. This deck also contains uh, Ice Block and Ice Barrier to allow you to survive longer. And in addition to that, you have the staple Fireballs, Pyroblasts, uh, Frostbolt, Ice Lances to allow you to do the required damage to Saphiron. The key to defeating Saphiron with this deck is to always optimize your mana consumption on any given round. You can see here that I'm using my Arcane Golem to do direct damage to Saffron and not try to take out any of his minions. The reason for that is that I have plenty of spells in my deck to help me clear Saffron's board, so my real priority with my minions is to make use of them against Saffron before they're killed. Now, as you will be able to see, this attempt was actually very close and I barely won. This means that depending on the cards that you draw and that Saphiron draws, you might have to give it quite a few attempts before you win. As long as you are perseverant though, you should have no trouble. At this point, Flamestrike would have wiped Saffiron's board, but I chose not to use it. And the reason for that is that I wanted two things. The first is I wanted him to pile some more minions on his board so my Flamestrike would be even more efficient. And the other reason is that if I had played Flamestrike, I would not have been able to make efficient use of the rest of my mana. And indeed, just as I expected, Saffiron played an additional minion, and so my Flamestrike ended up doing slightly more damage. It's also important to take advantage of Saffiron's Necro Knights. Uh, these are the minions that kill the minions adjacent to them when they die.
Now, unfortunately, Saffron uses Blizzard against my minion here, so he doesn't actually get to attack at all, but it doesn't really matter. So at this point of the fight, I really need to get rid of Saffron's board, and this is where the Necro Knights come in handy, because as you can see, it sort of chains and all of his minions end up getting killed. I didn't want to use the Frostbolt here, even though I had excess mana, because I wanted to couple it with the remaining Ice Lance in my deck. This is as good a turn as any for Pyroblast. I have my secret up. Um, Saffiron's board is not particularly threatening, so I decided to take the opportunity. Here you can see the ice lance that I was speaking about being drawn. Now, if I had used my frostbolt on that previous turn, I would have essentially missed out on the four damage of ice lance. My ice block is triggered. Fortunately, the other one is in my hand, but as it turns out, I don't even need to use it because I draw the arcane golem. Again, I repeat, this fight was close, so you can imagine that depending on the draws, you might lose quite a few attempts. Don't let that discourage you though. If you want a more detailed strategy for this fight, be sure to check our written guide. I hope that was helpful, thank you for watching, and good luck!